Ah, hi everyone, this is Walking Problem. I uh today's date is uh 29th of October, uh 132 pm. I think there's always never a lack of like a face palm worthy things that's happening in Singapore. So I just saw this article. So I read the headline idea for women to watermark their nude photo shared on Telegram with recipients' names win award at Hackathon. You, you are thinking what I'm thinking, right? Right. This one is Walao. Similar. How can this win award? So, um, so let's not jump to conclusion, right? we don't jump to the conclusion don't always only read the headlines and then make a conclusion uh, that's bad for health uh. so let's read a team of four from SMU uh, students propose a feature to be set up on telegram to allow women to watermark their new photos with recipients name so as to deter mass forwarding of the photo so they suggest this anti-forward anti-forwarding technology to be implemented on the app to prevent immediate leaks of intimate or nude photos so and then as a result they are one of the four winners of the hackathon for a better world and uh, this year's theme is online hum tackling, tackling online hum especially against women and girls so uh, so it was a very big shot big thing lah now Tan Kiet Hao state uh, minister of state uh, was at this award and then you know we have like it's organized by DBS then there's the you know the there's a judge and then there's MC, MCI also involved. Um, very big thing. Lah. It's like goodness. goodness. So somehow this win the award. But huh? this also shows uh, the, the problem with uh, this hackathon is not really a hackathon. Uh, you put it that way. Lah. What is a hackathon? Typically in uh, software development right you hackathon you hack means you actually code and then at the end of the hackathon you actually have a product at least a simple version of the product that uh that shows off your idea and then it's a workable thing this one they say on telegram i don't think telegram is part of this thing and then i don't think telegram will be interested and uh, another problem this because this is like oh it's a nice idea it's a very good idea you know Oh, so nice, so good. Then, but then the thing is, technologically speaking, it made no sense. The the how how these kind of photos are leaked. You know, they do not send only via Telegram. First thing first. Second thing, whatever watermark you you can put in, there's always something called screenshot. Unless you ban screenshotting on telegram but and, and then as again people don't only send via telegram there's snap there's snapchat what that's what people used to do right i think uh the young people i don't use snapchat lah because i don't have friends using snapchat so it's too bad lah but as in the younger people a few years ago always use snapchat because snapchat right you cannot do screenshot if i not if i didn't understand wrongly or if you do a screenshot i think the other person will be informed and the the image that was sent over is limited time you can set a limited time and then it will disappear so that's why snapchat was very popular the the pro the and then even if you put a watermark anyone with a basic graphical knowledge if you can use paint you can you can just remove the entire thing so let me show you an example so let's say now i pick this one, if you know how to use MS Paint, right? Let's say, uh, let's say this person's face is a, is is the is the is the watermark lah, huh? Okay, so hey, why why all my thing disappear? So let's say that would feel solid color. Tada, gone. The watermark is gone. Unless you got to put watermark on your face, ah, huh? on your, let's say this is a new photo, and then you pick it on on the face then that defeats the purpose of sending the nude photo to your lover or to your mistress or to your boyfriend or to your you know, sugar daddy it defeats the entire purpose because it's like what well, you put it here what or you put it here this, this 
the how can this be an award the there is so many ways that people can send nude photos or have their nude photo leaked and there's so many ways nude photos you know if come into possession with and by any guy who have a bad idea it's so easy to send out so easy to re replicate let's say you cannot do screenshot i use another phone to take photo lor. i use another phone to take the video lor. and this is talking about photos video leh. video is worse so the solution to prevent you new know, photos be circulated around is don't take nude photos and videos that is the solution don't do it and then you will it will not happen if your boyfriend or partner say oh like that more exciting or whatever don't believe you say i will keep it only for myself don't believe i will never send out don't believe don't even believe yourself you tell yourself i will never spread it around i will just keep it inside my phone don't believe yourself never do it don't take new photos don't take new video don't take sex videos don't take sex photos don't do it because your phone can be hacked messages sent out regardless where can be can be intercepted it can be received by different people your phone can be lying around and someone can take it so don't do it so many times already, you know, all this, you know, all this, like, don't poly your IT or secondary school, I don't know what, then, you know, their friend took, you know, their jealous friend or angry friend took their phone and then, you know, and then they send all these messages or copy these messages to themselves and then they spread it around because then they want to cause hell to that evil bitch, you know, that kind of thing. So don't do it. If you don't do it, don't have, you don't have this problem. How can this win an award? Oh my freaking God. And how is this a hackathon? I said, okay, like, I'm fine, okay? So if I subscribe and like the video, I, I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk already. Bye bye.